it it's your girl clementine from big empress energy i'm sending you beautiful bountiful blessings we open to receiving them mm, mm, mm. please i'm all it's your girl clementine i record energy and people to feel okay and this is our horoscope we're gonna find out what our angels and our ancestors and our spirit guides want us to know right now now mira if the reading resonate with you please comment okay i'd love to read the comments you can also tip in my cash app or buy me a coffee i appreciate the energy exchange and i'm speaking abundance tenfold over your life mis amores i'm also hosting a collective candle reiki happening july 9th that is on a friday for the new moon in cancer we are doing a higher heart activation and this includes a youtube live sound bath and group reading all for 1445 I cannot wait to hold space and see you all there. Secure your spot on my website, Big Empress Energy LLC.com. Now let's get into this reading chat and see what it is that we need to know right now for our highest and our best. Spirit is showing me lots of orange for our aura today. And that means that we are in a very creative, inspirational portal. And at this time, we are being asked, what do we want to birth? today what do we want to birth what do we want to create what do we want to co-create with spirit with the divine today we have to realize our power here our power as creators okay so i want you to affirm that you are a powerful creator i want you to affirm that you are a creative genius that you are brilliant okay during this orange energy i'm also seeing some people getting feisty okay almost like the blood boiling we're, we're, we're going down to the root chakra i'm also seeing this red energy and how we're needing to really ground down anchor in all these divine downloads that we've been getting all these feelings that we've been acclimating to and ascending to we're needing to ground it down so what that means is we're needing to get in our body that means put a plan into action get moving get going okay essentially some of us may be called to meditate more to go outside to get some fresh air you may also be inspired to do some yoga or do a new exercise routine or eat something differently eat orange not eat orange eat red okay you might be inspired to want to get physical okay to um get your hands dirty to use your hands okay to co-create to manifest something new uh, what this energy of, of of fertility and the roots coming together a lot of us are birthing something that has come from past lifetimes birthing something that we have also gotten from our ancestors that our ancestors are supporting us in okay we're also connecting with our ancestors when we connect with the okay who come before us okay we have the nine nine we have nine of cups and nine of swords coming up here and with this energy we are ending something okay we are ending something so we can get what we want with this nine of swords some of you guys here could be feeling very tired more tired than usual because you haven't been sleeping your sleep schedule was thrown off or you're having nightmares or you're waking up in the middle of the night okay some of you guys you are very anxious about what you want you're worried about if you're going to be able to co-create it manifest it but remember if it's for you baby it's gonna be there for you when you get there okay we have nine nine you guys could be seeing this number a lot okay nine 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 okay i'm also seeing this as an ancestor number i'm also seeing this as a lone wolf number some of you guys here are needing to spend some time alone spend some time in your own energy okay um because as you heal yourself you're helping to heal others we have this star card and this is an aquarian card some of you guys can have aquarius placements or aquarius people in your life with this star card some of you guys too are fixing things after a after a storm okay after some chaos you're creating order you know you had like a wake up a wake up call a wake up realization okay you smelled the coffee and you ready to do the work with the star card some of you guys are wanting to invest in your therapy and your mental health and your physical health some of you guys when you want to get a coach or you want to work closely with someone who knows a little bit more about something than you with the star card you're also being invited to shine your light no more hiding no more hiding especially not your shadow because i feel like you're integrating your shadow okay you're integrating your shadow with this energy a lot of you guys here worried about what when who when and where we have the two of pentacles and the knight of pentacles so we're going back 
and forth, needing to make a decision here. We may be feeling emotionally up and down, emotionally up and down, especially as it's cancer season. Some of you guys here could be crying a lot or going through some mental breakdowns as well, but you're going to be coming out the other side more aligned, more tapped in, and feeling even more anchored in this reality. With the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, you're needing to make a plan. Make a plan to lessen your load. When we have the Two of Pentacles, you could have been in this energy trying to decide between one or the other what's worth your time and what's not with the knight of pentacles get really down into the plan okay get really down into seeing where things are gonna go okay considering everything considering the good and the bad that's this okay considering the good and the bad how things can how you can get exactly what you want or how you can also create consequences that maybe you don't you know you could if you could avoid it you would avoid it okay that's this energy too with the nine of swords and nine of uh, cups okay it's like i can get everything i want and also like i'm scared some people this is scared of success you're scared of success you're scared of creating the world that you want. You're scared of being the star of the show. You're scared of pouring everything into a passion project or into yourself, but there is no need to fear. You're needing to ground. Knight of Pentacles is all about coming up with that practical plan, a practical offering. And it's not about movement. It's not about, I got to do it before somebody else does it. I got to do it. They got to see it. I got to stunt. I got to do it for clout. You doing it because it's something that you're very passionate about. You're doing it and it, you're planning it, okay? You're not just doing something out of nowhere, okay, with that energy. And then we have the Judgment card and the Seven of Cups. A lot of you guys have so many options. You have more options than maybe you have even realized. You have more options than you have even realized, okay, with this Seven of Cups type of energy. Some of you guys confusing yourself because you could be in mind-altered states a lot, okay? Some of you guys are wanting to slow down on your mind-altered state, on your plant medicine, okay? We have the judgment card. A lot of us here are waking up and seeing how we are the star. Maybe how we have been too critical on ourselves. We have been too harsh on ourselves. We have been too harsh on other people. Okay. Another thing with the Aquarius energy is that like Aquarius are the weirdo of the Zodiac sign. So it could be weird for you to go down your life path. You, Everyone could be thinking, no, what are you doing? How can you do this? But you're like, nah, I'm going to get what I want. This is how I get what I want. And I got to stay consistent with my plan. And don't put nothing in my path that isn't made for me, baby. Okay. With this energy of the judgment card, a lot of you guys may be too harsh on yourself or too harsh on other people. And you're needing to open up your heart chakra for that compassion, my love. Okay. Open up your heart chakra for your compassion. I also see this card as your ancestors you're dead you're muertos okay um giving you divine guidance we have thief and falseness and foe these are the three cards in this deck that have to do with fake energy and they all came out together i've never seen this you have the only thing we're missing is enemy um but we have foe which is someone who pretends to be your friend but they really a foe they really a fake we have the falseness card and the thief some of you guys this is a person or a situation or a habit that has been depleting your energy robbing of your energy okay some of you guys here this is you you have been putting up a facade you have been putting up a fake energy here Maybe for some of you guys, you think you have to fake it till you make it, fake it to get what you want, okay? Some of you guys here, you, um, this could be an earth sign in your life, okay, as well, Aries sign. I meant to say Aquarius, but maybe it is an Aries, okay, too. That could be just telling you things that you want to hear, okay, and not really telling you the truth. Some of you guys could be spending more time with cats than usual. Some of you guys are worried about someone lying or you're anxious about maybe you didn't tell someone everything and you're anxious about it. Like, you have a lot of anxiety, like, I'm going to have to come clean, I'm going to have to fess up, or this is somebody else, okay? And we have thief. Some of you guys here needing to lock your cars, lock your crib, okay? Some of you guys with this thief, this is an energy vampire. Someone who acts like they're a friend, but they really have ul ulterior motives, okay? Well, that is a lot of energy. <laughs> that is a lot of energy. Now, let's see what it is that we're being called to surrender. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself and surrender the drama, okay? Surrender the drama, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself, old past judgments about yourself so you can do some deep healing on who you are um, currently co-creating yourself to be, okay? This is let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own power and soar in your life. And this says no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm 
and don't contribute to the drama. Staying censored will help resolve the issue more quickly. We have movement and balance, okay? Like I said, some of you guys are going to be moving your bodies, okay? In a yoga flow, working out, you guys are needing to make some moves and this is balance. This is all heart chakra energy, okay? Really moving, doing things that we love, doing things that we're feeling deeply in. Uh, some of us here are needing to balance our energy, our spirituality with physical movement, with going outside, with getting our body moving through these emotions now i'm gonna see what goddess has a message for us okay what goddess has a message for us right now we have kali endings and new beginnings the old must be released so the new can enter and that's that energy of the nine you're needing to let go of the past so you can create something new like this whole time i've been talking about creation kali is about destruction so you can create okay see beneath the veil see who's being lying to you see what what you've been putting your energy into that you don't need to and then we have freya bold unleash your adventurous side take risk and be daring that creative energy take a risk to get a reward now my love that was our reading for today if it resonated with you please call me okay i love to read the comments you can also tip in my cash app or buy me a coffee i appreciate the energy i speak in abundance and fold over your life go to my website big empress energy llc.com to secure your spot for the higher heart chakra activation going down this friday july 9th okay Caught off for securing a spot is 8 p.m eastern standard time and we go live on youtube at 9 i can't wait to hold space for you all bye